Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Quickie. Look at this. We went to the uh, new Asian market in town and I, I love this stuff. I love, well not this stuff, but I've never tried it. Just the stuff in there. I mean, it takes me a, a little while to look at everything. But they have this uh, stuff, Foods of Hawaii. No. Taste the flavors of Hawaii Chinese roast chicken seasoning mix. Look at that, huh? Hey, you could do a whole chicken with this, but I'm gonna do uh, some drum drumsticks or drumettes or whatever you call those. I only have four in there because it's just Tom and I. So it says to rinse the chicken and then rub the seasoning mix onto all areas. Let stand approximately 10, 15, 30 minutes. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a couple hours. Uh, so I'm gonna cook that later. But anyways, let's see how much of this I'm gonna use. Really awesome little find there. Got it. Oh yeah. Whoa. There's something, something sweet or something in there. It smells really strong. Let's see. Yeah, let me just do the whole thing. Okay. So I'm gonna massage this through the uh, chicken. Put that in the fridge, and I'll meet you in a couple hours, and we'll cook this up. We'll be back. All right, you guys. Are we ready? Been a couple hours later. This is the Rapid Crisp Air Fryer by DeLonghi. And I'm not gonna oil it or nothing like that. It's already that skin. That smells so good. And I could probably fit about, probably four more legs in there. But uh, it's got a bottom burner so I don't have to flip the chicken over. Just remember halfway the cook, flip your chicken over so it's getting that crispy skin, you know, from that burner that's up there. Um, I'm going to uh, use the chicken setting on this. It's going to be lovely. All right, so it tells you all that stuff, how long to cook it. You, you keep your glasses on, Laura. Let me see. Uh, 350. Bake roast chicken for 30 minutes. Okay, so that's what it says, 350. Oh. Chicken always takes about 30 minutes, depending on the size chicken. All right, so it's got a chicken function. Let's go to it. Uh, I rarely use it because when I do wings, I don't use that function at all. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I just use regular, uh, either manual or French fry. It does a nice crisp on chicken wings. But in this case, we're gonna do the chicken thing and it's already, it sets itself to the number three. That's listed down below what that means, those numbers temperature wise. Okay, I got that off the book. I typed it all up for you guys. Uh, the bottom burger, I'm gonna keep it on. So I don't have to flip nothing over, but you will have to if you don't have one. All right, so 30 minutes. That's good. You want to reach an internal temperature of 165, okay? So remember that. Get yourself a meat thermometer. If you have an air fryer, you got to have one of those. Okay, yes, yeah, right about the skull. As we got nine minutes left, I'm going to check the temperature. Look how pretty that is. Look at it. On the biggest one over here. The big boy. Let's see. 156 all right 157 let's keep her going i'm gonna let it go the whole nine minutes even if you overcook it it's still gonna be moist and tender and juicy i promise you that i'm not gonna lie to you oh my gosh look how pretty that is holy cow the juices are just coming out of there like crazy i'm gonna save that big boy for a uh, tomster i was trying to figure out what that smell is it's a very familiar smell and by looking at all the ingredients that go in there figured it out star anise that's what it smells like if you don't know what star anise is see it starts it looks like a star it's it's very uh it tastes like peppermint a little bit it's very strong okay so that's what i smell ready to taste as mike says <laughs> look at that mm. oh look at the juices you guys look at that are you guys seeing this jeez it's still hot Mmm. Oh, that's good. That is really good. It's stupid moist, like you wouldn't believe. I'm telling you, if you haven't done meat in the air fryer yet, you need to get even a steak, you guys. Everything comes out so freaking... You can't dry out a pork chop. I, I can't even tell you. That is good. I do taste the star anise. Not strong, though. It's just there. But if you're wondering what that, that is, that's what it is. It's very lovely. 
this would make some good uh, chicken wings actually. So you guys, if you see this in your um, Asian market store, it's really nice. Foods of Hope. What do you tell them? You want to try it? No, not really. I just come to check it out. You don't want to say hi? Oh, hi everyone. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, it's really good. Um, I think it was like two bucks for this. I saw some other things that I'm going to try out. I just couldn't help it. I love it. I love trying new stuff. Okay, tell them. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye, everyone. That is very good, you guys. I'm going to see if Amazon carries it. I'll put a link. Every time I use something and it's on Amazon, I put links to it. I appreciate you guys clicking on those links. It helps my channel out. I mean, Amazon sends me a little gift card every month because you guys go over there. So I appreciate that, all right? Thanks for shopping, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.